Was, we trained Friday night uh, at Cornerstone College, which is one of our training venues, and then headed to footy club uh, after for dinner. Um, and then I guess the whole sort of plan of the camp is to spend some time as a group, um, go through some leadership stuff. Um, we had some skill sessions as well amongst that. And then a bit of fun with this amazing race on the Saturday morning. So um, yeah, it was a great camp. It was, um, it was really good to get a lot of the new players involved, um, a lot of the recruits and all the under 18 kids coming up. Um, I'd like to say thank you to all the staff and support staff and volunteers who helped out with the camp. Also to the Handel Footy Club. Oh, it's been great. Um, a lot of the under 18s that have come up this year have uh, sort of know a lot of the players um, and the, the few recruits we have got this year fit in really well. Um, it was great to get Will Snelling's been here for all of pre-season but it was good to get Sam Conforti and uh, Flynn Perez over as well so those two um, came to the camp as well and Morgan Ferris was there. So it's great to get those guys involved um, but yeah it was, I guess it was also really good for the rest of the group to spend some time together um, I guess outside of just training. Um, probably the, the main one that's really stood out is uh, Zach Becker, his pre-seasons, he's taken his footy to another level, uh, ran a PB in his 2K, his training standards have really improved and, he, and he's training really well at the moment. Um, Liam Punch is another one who's uh, really stepped up, um, he had PBs both 2K and in the gym as well um, and again is you know, really improving and getting better. But, the whole group are training really well. We had, I think, seven or eight PBs um, in the 2K post Christmas um, and a couple before Christmas as well. So the, the group are really hungry to try and get better and improve. Um, I guess our goals don't really change. Um, we're here to, to win premierships and play finals and that's what we're striving towards. Um, we spoke a little bit about that at the camp and then I guess the main part of that is the plan and how we go about it. Um, part of that is now pre-season, so building a good fitness base and starting to um, work on the game plan and, and, the, and the roles um, each player has game day. Um, in terms of changes, there'll be some slight tweaks. Um, again, we're always trying to improve and get better. Um, our offence is probably the main one which we'll try and improve and get better with, I guess, our speed of ball movement. Um, we'll try and you know work on speeding that up to try and get some easier goals. but. Um, it's also about, you know, just, just keep working on those defensive principles and the contest principles. Um, um, Fraser Evans has moved to the back line. He was doing the forwards last year, so he's moved to the back line. Um, ben Warren will stay in the mids and John Corbett will take over um, the forwards. He was our bench coach last year. Um, and Scott Tiedemann will move into a, a new role which we've created this year to sort of bolster our coaching department. Um, Scott will oversee our Emerging Leaders program. Um, he'll have a, a game day role regarding um, in the box. He'll be working with the vision and I guess a bit of oppo. Um, and then during the week, he'll do oppo analysis, opposition analysis and, and provide the players an insight, I guess, into the opposition and how they play as well. And we're excited to have uh, Mark Evans back at the footy club. He's gonna be our, our bench coach this year, which is really exciting. Um, got. Couple of the past players um, from the footy club back, which is great to see.